Let's do it, baby. We're loaded in once again after a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of give and go here. But I think that we have a lagless game for once, which is very, 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 very much welcomed by myself. I'm gonna be at the Wars of Chaos. My man over here, Mr. Binner, is the Skaven, and I just learned that Binner is actually Binner is actually trained to be a military commander himself, which is pretty fucking cool. Um, so uh, so hopefully his uh, his common knowledge of these will be able to transfer into the game, which uh, that would probably explain why he's so good at this game <laughs> anyways uh setting up our lineups over here want to get a little bit uh nice and tight on this one i don't want to get too uh widespread because the idea with this lineup is to kind of uh present a more of a ball and then spread out as we get closer and closer whoops i put them on the wrong well let's just do it like this then okay we can do this the old-fashioned way huh Okay, you get on your own one, you get on your own one too. Okay, beautiful. And looking at the unit counts, what do we have? We got 3385 versus 1528. Uh, this is very strange. Very, 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 very strange uh, from the enemies here. Uh, I suspect that there's going to be a lot of cheesy bullshit in a matchup like this. 1528 uh, soldiers is, is about the size of one singular army, let alone two, two armies put together. Uh, that's very, 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 very bizarre. I would not expect that at all. Um, so uh, I am suspect here, but uh, but hopefully hopefully we can trust in the in the uh, in the total war gods that there won't be any that there won't be too much uh, silliness in a game like this. As uh, well, we're here to have fun, man. We have some goddamn fun. As the uh, clock counts down to 23 seconds until battle time. Anyways, uh, <laughs> looking at uh, looking at this as well. Hey, what's up, Jew man? Holy shit! Hey, what's up, man? There is actually some good uh, good thing about having a massive caveman jaw. I don't know what that's in reference to, but I like it. <laughs> it's good to see you though, Jew man. I've, I feel like it's been a while, man. Hopefully everything's good. All right, uh, we got six seconds left till game time. Five, four, three, two, and let's roll, baby. Let's roll. Okay, so the Dark Elves and the High Elves, uh, the Brotherly Elves over here, uh, very, very wide, but very much uh, angled towards that side of the map. I feel like this always happens with Norm. <laughs> this always happens with Norm. He just somehow gets on the wrong side, or, or, you know, on the other side of me. Um, uh, looking at looking at what they got in the air, it looks like uh, they do have Alarael on her. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay. Do you want some Oh God action? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Alarael! Get out of here! <laughs> Get out of here! I hate you. I really sincerely hate you. Let me just bring this up over here too. Oh you. All right, there we go. I think that we are ready to rock and roll once again. And uh, here comes the initial approach as this one gets ready to uh, ready to ready to get down. I'm going to start to assign targets for my front line. We want to make sure that our our uh, our forsaken find their way into all of these dread spears. Uh, this deck's going to be a great uh, matchup for them. And uh, for the rest of our units, we kind of want to keep them in reserve for now. In fact, uh, nothing nothing wrong with that. As, uh, a little bit of patience here, perhaps as well. Hey, there we go, sir. Are you, that, are you good <laughs> sir sir all right is this good yeah there we go okay sweet all right uh waiting for everyone to walk on up it looks like binner's already kind of made contact with the enemy the high elves chariot crew is coming in hot and that is exactly what the high elves are going to do i absolutely hate that sort of play style but it is what it is here do have some halberds for that purpose which i will go line up with binner's artillery looks like also binner brought two hell pit abominations i don't see him do that too often and uh oh nice also the plague pack over here regiment of renown uh plague monk sensor bears working their way and those dirty rats are about to fuck shit up on those sisters of slinging doom uh while the cavalry options from the Dark Elves get in and around our back. So we do need to be ca uh, cognizant of such things. I'm going to go for the surround over here as the lines meet. Um, looking for my Chosen to kind of hold up right there. Let's get our Forsaken coming around right here and get in the back line of the enemy. And these guys can just kind of like line up like that. And for my cavalry options, I will be bringing them way the fuck back on over here. Phoenix Guard do present a little bit of a challenge way back. But for now, we can focus on the Nobles and the Chaos Warriors with Halberds holding them down, which is exactly the target that we want unfortunately though they're just that strong that we can't really do too much against them on our own we just kind of have to be patient with it and and set up a nice defensive perimeter around the units that we can protect which is going to be easier said than done right now so this is realistically going to be a difficult battle for us but we will overcome we will we will persevere or at least we'll do our best job to do such things as our mirror guard over here take down and uh and, and pass around the sisters of slaughter and over here our front line of chaos warriors are absolutely destroying these dread spears and you don't can, you can only imagine 
engine wise if forsaken get a nice surround in on in on the back of them as well a couple units over here a couple a couple companies it looks like as they slap them up and break both those units so we have one on the ground on this side very very comfortably and what we can do now is we can set up another defensive perimeter alongside the encroaching uh dark elves force my lord over here on his own dragon is pretty much unused as of now and i do believe that this would be a good time to go eh, eh. let's uh let's let's pop in over here or let's actually uh, let's actually save this a little bit. Uh, let's give these guys a bit of a debuff and maybe actually give that a double chevron instead. Boom, you guys can get on top of them, give them a nice surround. And we want to get this unit coming in over here as well. The key to beating chariots is to get big old masses of units right around them. That's exactly what we want. My Lord is a little bit under pressure here. Probably good to throw down a, uh, a nice wind spell at the same time. Unfortunately, my halberds have broken, which is not what you want to see happen. We can throw down a wind spell over there and pop one of these uh, at the same time. And that should get that rolling down beautiful um now we need to start to encroach a little bit more keep the uh keep the uh the dark elves um uh, honest on their cavalry and get these guys popping in all the way the fuck over there as our chaos knights come in and take on or hopefully take on what's left of these dark riders and alarian reaver archers which are slowly using up all their ammunition so i'll be patient there Actually, let's let's pop these guys in over here. Let's have these guys pop in over there. Boom, Mirror Guard are taking on the White Lions, and I believe that that is going to be ma massively even. So I don't know who's necessarily, necessarily going to win that one straight off the bat, but over here we need to kind of just set up a little bit of a perimeter while we wait for... Okay, yep, I see you, I see you. Yep, I'm bringing my units over. I'm bringing my units over, no problem. Let's make sure that these guys get in over there too. We'll be a little bit more aggressive with this as I get ready for another casty here as uh, we can throw one right. Oh, come on. Let me get it. Let me get it. There you go. All right. We got it. <laughs> we got it. Sweet one. And uh, and here comes another charge in from these Dark Riders over here. The Halberds will be able to perhaps even come in and, uh, and enclose in on them, which would be rather nice. And another wind spell goes down. However, not going to be able to do enough from that. And our units over here are under pressure as well. So this is a little bit scary right now. A little bit scary, of course. But uh, if we can present enough enough mass of troops we should be able to hold them down and uh and that would be a good start to this one but here's the problem the balance powers are still very much even there is no there is no obvious winner just yet and uh and we are fe i'm feeling like we're a little bit under pressure here hey god damn it chaos knights can you guys do something jesus man <laughs> they don't listen to any of my commands you bastards all right looks like we can tear out these these white lines over here pretty damn easy as well and that's going to allow the mirror guard to take them on and have no problem with that and we can get our chaos knights over here finally taking down these damn dark riders with uh with their crossbows and bullshit crossbows and bullshit that should be a song over here we got a nice mass of troops surrounding all of these uh all of these single unit uh so sorry single target entities which is not going to be easy they're obviously healing up as well which is which makes it just a, a massive fucking annoyance <laughs> but uh, but hey, man, at the end of the day, it is what it is. And we got to be able to deal with it as uh, as my lord over here does take on a lot of these uh, white lines of trace helped out by the by the by, uh, by the mirror guard, which are going to be able to probably finish them off as they are um, popping pop in another one of these. So we can get a little more casting uh, action going down, uh, bringing some forsaken in as well to slap up these dread spears. And what else do we have to deal with over here? Uh, we got my we got my chaos knights uh, in. Whoa. Hey, get away from those units, sir. Get away from those units. And let's go. Let's go charge into those white lines of trace race again as we kind of break away and give a little bit of a, a little bit of a breather to that segment i'm going to pull my uh, my lord off this as well i think that the mirror guard can take on the rest of those white lines no problem and uh, we'll have to play this one patiently the balance power is taking a little bit of a shift against us but i still think that there's plenty of game to be played and uh is that ala rail no that's marathi right there oh fuck even marathi's on the ground too well ship well ship and uh, uh, uh harpy's regiment of renown is kind of uh, causing a bit of an issue there as well so a little bit of patience here will go a long ways and and this is the time to perhaps throw down a few more defensive buffs if we can. Let's give these guys a bit of help right there. Whoa, Jesus. Oh, my God. It's my it's my alarm. Okay. <laughs> Ten more minutes till 3090. <laughs> Ten more minutes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let me pull my let me pull my lord off here as well and uh, continue the down the uh, the ground domination. But now I got to do two things at once. Who do I want more? Do I want to win or do I want the 3090 Ti? I don't know. I don't know. Here's Marathi. What are you what are you doing in the air? Uh, I'll take you one in the air. All right. <laughs> it's a dragon on Pegasus battle. And I actually don't know if I'll particularly win that one. Uh, let's go look at uh, let's go look at her, her armor. She doesn't have too much armor, so we could actually debuff her, but I just guess I just use it, so not gonna be too much helpful there. And uh, actually let's bring these guys in right here. We need a little more killing power on that one. And our boys over here finishing off those uh, those white lines as well. Get our halberds over there. Okay, come on. Shit, I'm actually gonna die off that. God damn. Not good. Definitely not. Good. Wow. I, I, how, would, how would I lose to Marathi? 
She doesn't have that much killing power on her. What, what the hell is that? That's that's some silliness, man. So we'll have to do this without my own lord. Uh, not ideal, obviously. Not ideal at all as we chase away a lot of the ground units. So I'm actually going to lose my lord here, which is really unfortunate. Uh, really, really unfortunate. The Alarian Reaver archers are going to waste a lot of their ammunition on those units right there. And over here, we got, oh my god, we got a whole mass of troops to deal with. Uh, but all these single entity targets are just so, so damn difficult, man. So damn difficult, which uh, is really unfortunate as Marathi continues to hound me down around. Oh my god, and I have these, what, how, why are these for, forsaken all the way out there? I must have misclicked or something, uh, pay, not paying enough attention. As, uh, as, I, as I continue to focus on the 3090 Ti release date. It's that day right now, it's that day, and I really, really want it. And here comes in some more Chaos Warriors, uh, trying to trap in those uh, those Reaver Archers, which are pretty much you know useless anyways, as they don't have any more ammunition. Boys over here are ready to uh, tag into those uh, Reavers over there. Chosen are still relatively high health, which is good, and uh, should be able to finish off the, the rest of those white lines, no problem. Look at those battle lines going down, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And over here, we can probably finish off the rest of those uh, Dread Spears. I don't think that they got too much left to them. And uh, my Lord is going to be on his deathbed soon enough. Uh, my Halberds over here actually actually looking pretty damn good. Actually looking pretty damn good. They uh, they did take down those Cold One Knights. Nice. That's a, that's a good start. Over here, all these units are starting to take quite a bit of damage, but uh, still not, not enough. Uh, can I get my Forsaken over here, please? Ah, oh, Jesus. There we go. Mass, uh, mass shattering from all my units. And God damn it. God damn it. It looks like the 3090 Ti wins out today. All right, let's do it.